Press the digitation. You know that feeling where no matter what you do or where you go, you just don't fit in? P-R-E-S-T-I-D-I-G-I-T-A-T-I-O-N. Because it's how I feel all the time. Press to digitation. That's correct. So can you spell it too? Press to digitation. Well, maybe our next guest can. We are getting ready for the adult spelling bee. It's happening this Friday at Work and Leisure. Our joining me are two contestants. We have Brayden Tawolde alongside of Kiara Jones. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, hey. thanks for having us. I'm excited. This is going to be so much fun. Let's talk a little bit about how, how the idea of the adult spelling bee got started. How did this come to be? <laughs> so our friends at Work and Leisure and Date Ideas and Things to Do, they teamed up on this event because, you know, back in the day we used to write in cursive if we didn't know how to spell a word, <laughs> or we used T9, there was LOL, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there was autocorrect, now there's voice messages. Uh, and so like, you know, we're like, let's challenge Right. Adults we, we've definitely abused technology over the years, and we need to get back to the basics. Can we actually spell these words? And no, we don't have to be as good as Aquila, you know? Right. <laughs> okay, what are you guys most excited about? Because this is quite literally the perfect collab. Work and leisure, date ideas and things to do. Can anyone come on out? and experience the spelling bee. Anyone can come. If you go on Work and Leisure, which is their name, their Instagram page, you can click the link and you can purchase tickets. Okay, and these tickets truly do go back into our community for a good cause. How are the funds being poured back into St. Louis? Yeah, so the winner uh, of the actual spelling bee, a portion of uh, the ticket sales will go to a nonprofit that they select. It's $25 and you can even come at the door and buy tickets there. Nice, okay, so I have some words for you guys. Are you ready? I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm ready, but I'm a judge, so I'll, I, I'm ready, we're gonna. Braden's like, ah, oh, I gotta pass. I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. You were just bragging though. What were you bragging about? It was a humble brag. Oh, it was very <laughs> That humble. was before we were on the air. <laughs> it's her, her confidence, where is it? Let's see if she can do it. Okay, guys, I have 10 words for you guys. They are not in the teleprompter, so they don't know what I have on my handy dandy sheet of paper. This is the most misspelled word in Missouri. Who wants it? Brad, and I'm looking but, at you. Let's do it, let's do it. And this is perfect, because you're tall. The word is height. Oh, that's a very good word. That's a very good, uh, you know, I love that word. It's <laughs> H-E-I-G-H-T. Oh, perfect, okay, nice, nice. Kiera, oh. this is the most misspelled word in the U.S. Oh my. It is coolie, coolie. Coolie? Yes. Can you use it in a sentence? Can I Ooh. use it in a sentence? <laughs> um, ooh, he strolled in to the studio very coolly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> coolly, C-O-O-L. E-Y. No. See, I'm a part of that. It, but guess what? It's if I. It, no. It's neither? It's not. It's double O, double L. Cool, like the actual word cool, and then L-Y, the suffix on the end. Uh, yeah, they, never would have yeah, gotten it. They're no. even making up words. You think so? They no, just, we, 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 we just be throwing them together, Merriam-Webster's. Now this one, okay. this is coming from our producer, Stephanie. Okay. She said this word always trips her up. Brad, and this one's for you, chauffeur. Is it S-H-A-U-F-E-R? No. Ooh. Kiera, do you want to try it? I can try chauffeur. Okay. C-H-A-U-F-F-E-U-R. Okay. <laughs> we've, so. even, we've even the playing field. Brad, and you've got one. Kiera, you have one. Okay. Brad, and this one's for you. Fuchsia. Well, hold on. Wait, actually, actually, this is your word. Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Mm-hmm. F-U-S-C-H-I-A. That is incorrect. Braden. Is Fuchsia. F-U-S-C-I-A? No. Fuchsia is F-U-C-H-S-I-A. Fuchsia. Can we like phone a friend, <laughs> use a hotline? We, okay. Work and leisure's in the building, so if we need to call them <laughs> on over. <laughs> Did they add letters to these words? You know, over no, the years? These are just the most commonly <laughs> words. <laughs> <laughs> Character always gets me. I see, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna try it right now. Y'all are in the hot seat. Yeah, that's no. autocorrect. <laughs> autocorrect, yeah. exactly. Okay, I do have two proper nouns. Okay. Okay. Both states. Brad, and this one's for you, Connecticut. <laughs> 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 All right, C O 
N N E C C I I don't know. Oh, okay, let's hear. Do you want to try it? <sighs> As yeah, I'll try it. Okay, I'll go try for it. it. Go for it. Imagine this when we actually have drinks. Oh, <laughs> right, gosh. there's gonna be drinks involved, adult beverages. This Wait, is gonna be fun. That's why I'm a judge. C O N N E C T Connect I C U T. Okay, you got it, girl. <laughs> well, since you got Connecticut, you wanna try Massachusetts? Uh, yeah, what's the worst that can happen? Mm -hmm. Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. M A S S A. C H U S E T T S. Oh, good job. I got it right. And for your final trick, oh, we, they're telling me we got to go. Okay, we'll save it for the very, very end of the show. The last word, St. Louis, don't go anywhere. And you can actually purchase your tickets for the Adult Spelling Bee. It's coming up this weekend, April 5th. Doors open at 6. Spelling starts at 7 o'clock. It is an incredible collab with work and leisure and date ideas and things to do. And you can get those tickets online at eventbrite.com. When we come back, I have a couple of final words for Braden and Kiera. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a jam.